And on a forward-looking note, what advice would you give to med school applicants planning to apply to Perlman in 2022, this summer, or even thinking ahead to the following year? Yeah, no, absolutely. So, you know, of course, first and foremost, um, we uh, love hearing and uh, knowing that these folks are out there with, with these um, aspirations and, and interest in, in medicine. And I think making sure you have that local mentor advisor, uh, groups of mentors and advisors who are uh, supporting you all along the way is, of course, always critical. And in terms of just some basic nitty gritty, you definitely, if you can, want to try to get your applications in early. You want to, together with getting it in early, still, however, proofread everything, proofread it uh, again and again with a trusted source as well. And then I would encourage everyone to always make sure and review the MSAR, make sure each school's requirements for application are clear. You know, there can be some nuances and you wouldn't want to make, you know, some silly oversight. So definitely for every school you're considering, just check that you've met all the requirements for that particular school. So you wouldn't be left out on a technicality. That's, that's generally across the board. And then I would say, you know, as you think about where you're applying and where you might, you know, ultimately interview or end up. You really want to think about where you want to be geographically, where you want to train, perhaps a more urban or more rural environment. Would you prefer a larger or smaller medical school program, one that's part of a huge university that's, again, um, you know, all within sort of walking distance versus perhaps a smaller program or, or one that's not part of as large a university? And, and what might work best for you in terms of particular school that has a greater emphasis, say, in certain areas of research or certain um, clinical areas of excellence. You know, most schools do, of course, offer everything, um, but there might be certain aspects that that health system is known for or their particular associated research enterprise is known for. And so just giving some thought to that, again, not to the extent that it would rule schools in or out entirely on its own, but I think it's the you know, totality of all these considerations that one might consider as you're, as you're going through the application process in the, in the years to come. <laughs> 